Let's talk about Mary. There are four dogmas of our Blessed Mother Mary. The first is Mary, the Mother of God, which is a feast celebrated on the 1st of January. Mary, Mary's perpetual virginity, celebrated on the 8th of September. The Immaculate Conception, celebrated on the 8th of December. And the Feast of Assumption of our Blessed Mother Mary, celebrated on the 15th of August. Why do we celebrate the Assumption of our Mother Mary? Yes, because it is the highest honor given to her. The word of the Lord in Psalm 16 from verse 9 to 10 says that the Lord will not abandon my soul into Hades, nor let his beloved know decay. God did not allow Mary to know decay, so she was assumed into heaven, both body and soul. This feast dates back to 1st November in the year 1950 when Pope Pius XII officially promulgated it to be an official dogma in his encyclical letter titled Munificentissimus Deus and so from hence the church celebrates her. Why do we celebrate Mary? We celebrate Mary because there are types of honor. For some who say we worship her, we do not worship her. We have the Dulia, we have the Hyper Dulia and we have the Latria. The Dulia is the type of honor given to saints and angels. The Hyperdulia is a, a type of honor given to our Blessed Mother, Mary, while the Latria is the honor preserved only for God. Why do we honor Mary? Yes, we honor Mary because she did what was not done in history. She did what nobody did in history. She corrected all the mistakes our, our first mother, Eve, committed. Eve brought sin into the world in Genesis chapter 3 from verse 1 to 15 while Mary brought sanity into the world. Eve was disobedient to God while Mary was obedient to God when the angel appeared to her in Luke's gospel chapter 1 from verse 37 to 44. Eve could not defeat the serpent but Mary defeated the serpent in Revelation chapter 12. Eve brought death into the world in Genesis chapter 3 from verse 19 to 21 while Mary brought life into the world in Galatians chapter 4 from verse 4. And so just as our mother Mary defeated darkness, defeated serpent, defeated evil, defeated sin and accepted to be the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ, I equally pray for all of us today that God will give us the same grace he gave to our mother Mary to conquer all the evil that surround us both in our offices, in the church, in our vocation, in our various environments, in the field of play, in our businesses, and in every ramification of life through Christ our Lord. Amen.